Good evening everyone! Welcome to Cyber Neuro Druid's channel, and we're playing the campaign After the Storm for the game Battle for Wesnoth, Episode 2, Scenario 10 of The Betrayal. Another gate! Elenia gives it a quick whack. Look! It's the imposter again! I have to destroy her. Yes, I have to. I must not fail this time. So, here you are, traitor. I am not a traitor. I'll destroy you this time. I have had enough of this. Surround her and strike her down. Do not let her get away. Okay, seven turns. Just defeat the false lady of light. And I lose if Elinia, Anya, or Durvan get killed. Is she going to summon anything? I guess she probably is. We don't currently know what. I can't move anyone this turn. So she does impact, arcane, damage. She's got leadership, she regenerates, she's pretty tanky. Um, I guess I ought to get some units that are not, that impact and arcane are not super successful against, just as potential buffer units. So who's cheap? The go-to would be thugs. Recruit two thugs. I'm not going to recruit any arcane undead in those. Maybe I can recruit one over here because it's a safe spot. So I'll get my Wraith, and I'm going to get my Loyal Druid as well. Actually I'm going to get my Elvish Prowler first, because he might want to run out and do some slowing. And this spot back here is within her reach, so I'm going to recruit a, another Thug. Okay, let's see how this goes. She recruits drones and automata. And level one. Nothing too terrifying. I should be able to get these two villages and then tough it out with these thugs. She regenerates, so there's no point attacking her before I've got her number. Use these two villages as a defensive line. I'm gonna stick Anya up here in case anyone wants to attack her, so I can keep the line. And then this guy is strong and resilient, but he might still get killed. So I'll just stick you down here. Now I'll get my loyal druid. Again, don't want to over-recruit, don't know how long this scenario will go, don't know what else will happen in it. Just put you there. And you back here. I can choose to also get another recall or two. I think maybe Forest Quisaithiel, the Forest Spirit. Might be a good choice. I could, of course, recruit these very, very weak Elvish units, but it doesn't seem like it's a very sensible choice. So yeah, we start ETL, and that's going to be all I do in the way of recruiting. For now, you come and hop back here, and now we are good, I think. Oh! All right. She's not dicking around, is she? She's also not recruiting anything. And I wish I'd got a shadow out. You did well. Okay, can I now block her off from retreating back to her base? Looks like I can. 
It's a risky business. So I'm going to use Midnoll on the Elven Prowler to try and get a slow in. Or maybe Durvan. Yeah, you. Because you've got Marksman. And you don't take quite as much damage. Wow, fantastic work, Durvan. Do I even need to kill anything else? You can get almost get round to take her on anyway. Elinia can just go in and uh, start bashing. You can use your sword. Sword. You've got 50% chance to hit. You'll be able to do up to 20 damage. See if I can bust open this automaton. Good stuff. Kaboom. Okay. If I fail to do this, I'd rather not have too many drones pecking at my backside. So. You are unlikely to get the kill. We'll start out with you. Alright. You can try and whack this automaton. Almost got it. You can finish it. Arcane's not great against those guys, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so now... Do I have to defeat the Lady of Light with Alinea? Nope. Anyone can get the killing blow, it looks like. Still, it would be cool if it was Alinea, so... Uh, not great. You go in there and fire Aura. Alright, if Elenia can get all three hits then she will get the kill, but ah, she's up against a slow attack. It was not to be, but I doubt she can kill anything either. And she can't get back to her recruitment station. Got a nasty bit of poison in. Bit of experience for the druid. You come round here. Spectre. All right, I've got uh, three level three ghostly undead. Always handy. And the big B A G is sitting in front of me on twenty eight health. And now that's eight health. So I can stick you on the village, and either Linia or, probably more usefully, Anya can try and get this kill. And uh, any of them can fail, can succeed if the other fails. No! Let me go! You and your accursed allies have been conspiring against us and the Grand Council of the Northern Peoples, sowing strife and destruction. Whoever you are, your heinous deeds make you unworthy of my mercy. You no longer deserve a place amongst elven kind. Elinia, please. Leave this world now and never return again. 
What is this? Please don't attack me. But how? How is this possible? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> Who is that? What do you think of our first complete infiltrator? It took us great effort to design and build such perfection. I know you. You are one of the members of the Iron Council, Malhecuba. I wasn't doing the correct Malhecuba voice. I thought that was someone else, but I apologize. Didn't you miss me, Elenia? I couldn't possibly wish harder for you and your friends to strut. Ha <laughs> ha! But well, that's not going to happen in your lifetime, or is it? Where are you? Stop fooling around and show yourself, you... I understand that you must be confused and enraged after losing your friends to such a pointless cause, and travelling so far only to slaughter the same people who you once vowed to protect. It appears to be just an illusion. Destroying you is not a pointless cause. But of course it is. You cannot destroy us. Not without the power of the Union anyway, which you left behind in Uriah's sacred domain when you destroyed your beloved Argan. I still have the Ruby of Fire. That understandably attractive relic is not important for me. Argan's treacherous little girl likes to think of it as if it were unique and irreplaceable, and convinced Uriah of that. But in truth, it is not. What are you babbling about? The first set of replicas of Yechnagos' heart were lost when you and your pathetic lackey destroyed our base in Wesmere, but I have had plenty of time to create more here without her finding out. I am sure that together they are as good or better than the original, and they might even be a superior substitute for your precious gem. Are you working against Uriah's will, then? We cannot speak to her directly. We can only do so through that treacherous wench who keeps the Dark Lady's heart within her for her own purposes. We... we destroyed Westmere. Yechnogoth's heart wasn't there. What did we destroy when we... The energy that should have destroyed you was released from the second replica of her heart, and various experimental units stored in the same place. The third one still exists within our infiltrator, imbuing her with Yechnagoth's grace and might, which is why your power is no match for hers. Nevertheless, I do not have time to continue talking to you. Right now, I need to go to tend to some rituals. Ivia was created to destroy both you and Argan's pet. Take a good glance at her perfection once she returns, for it will be your last opportunity. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Those bastards can't get away with this. My lady, we must do something. I don't think we have the power necessary to destroy the artifacts that Malhecuba is going to use to... Of course we do! We didn't come all this way from the Northern Lands risking that blasted ruby for nothing. Whatever that lich is going to do, it'll destroy us all if we don't stop him now. The last time we fought against that power, I lost a friend, and the vast plains of Westmere vanished with his remains. Any course of action at this point will inevitably lead to someone's destruction, but I'm sure we can do it this time. If the Lich is going to create a, a path to Inferno, as Aloran said, perhaps we can cause it to collapse at the other side. I don't truly understand most of this nonsense about hearts and Yechnagoth, but I reckon we need to destroy the Lich and the Impostor, and we can't do that without your help, Elenia. We don't have much time. That thing we just fought could be back at any moment. I appreciate your support. I don't think I could have come this far alone, and I don't want to force you to follow me. Of course not. We're your friends. Let's find that foul fiend and destroy him once and for all. 
Right. The door is open. And my mission is to proceed further underground with Alinea to find Malhakiba. We've had lots of dialogue, so I'm just going to save the game there. And... Ooh, Anya now is quite close to a level. She did get the experience for that kill, which is uh, a pretty meaty thing. Alright, so... For now, I'm going to get some healing in. Um, actually, which is more important? That Ilinia gets healed, or that her troops get healed? Probably that her troops get healed, given how tanky she is. Okay, we'll do this. And Dervin, you just stay where you are for now. Or maybe you come, because you're slow, you come with. Sixty turns, this mission. It's a pretty uh, meaty one. Is Malakiba actually here, or is he just being a silly bugger? And do I need more troops for the rest of the mission? That will be the question. I think I'm going to avoid recruiting anything else. Just want to see how it goes for now. Hopefully, and it should, if it's well designed as a campaign, we should be able to find other things. Other places to recruit from. Ah, okay, here's a, an enemy boss. We'll see very shortly whether we need to recruit more. Um, what have we got? We've got drones, we've got chaos invokers. These troops should be reasonably decent against them. You can almost reach me. Out you come, and the invokers come out behind. Four invokers, and it looks like the green player has run out of units. Alright, it's a Hell Guardian. Here I should get Anya towards another level. Alright, two more people hit her, she'll be at a level. You've wasted all your units on utter frivolities. Let's finish you off from the back. Good work, Anariel. Interestingly, this is an original Elvish unit, so it will advance into a proper... Sh uh, what's it called, shied, rather than becoming a whatever the silly thing was that I had before. Okay, you want to go into the mushrooms and attack this guy? You can do the same. 
Mm -hmm. Good, good. You go into the mushrooms and attack this guy. Another level for you. You can get the next shielding upgrade, fire and cold resistance. Now, do I see that in her defenses in the description? Um, so I should have minus 10 to fire, 30% to cold. Now, if those have gone up as they said, it should be 10% to fire and 40% to cold, which is a hell of a thing. Alright, who are they going to attack next? This guy, if, if we give him the chance. Gets her melee on. All right, this guy's going to get attacked. Futile again. Have the spectre in here for some juicy damage and for some visibility. Mustn't forget visibility. Now. One more of those kills and you'll be at the level. Meanwhile... What do I see? Is it... Oh, it's a door. Okay, how lovely. Free experience. Alright, and our friend is dazed. I can stun him with the ensnare attack. So he's now dazed, stunned, and slowed all at the same time. I don't think he's going to be much of a threat to us now. Do you want to go and explore down here? Okay, we got a drone and we've got a blood imp. We've got two drones and we've got a blood imp. None of which can reach me. They're all coming to play. Okay, I am going to need more units. do that, can you? You're just not quite hench enough. Maybe I'll try this. Perfect. You! You can't stop our master! You can't! My lady! At last I found you! I knew where the lich is! Speak! The catacombs below guard an artifact of some sort. Nobody knows exactly what it is, but we know the entrance is protected by a gate controlled by three crystals found near this guard post. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Let's find those crystals, then. Okay, so I'd activate the three control crystals to open the central gates, and I've got 51 turns left. And there are units coming at me from at least two directions. Alright, first things first, I need to get this guy out of the way. And I can't kill him, not with you. Can you re- you can't even reach. Okay, this is a bit feeble. So either I recall someone, or, well, 
or I fight with one of the people, with you, who should, you should, if you're lucky, you should be able to get that kill. You can both get through. You should retreat a bit. I think the recall is more important, so I'm going to recall a... What am I going to recall? Napu in the forest spirit. If I am going to have to find an ancient lich, then having a forest spirit around, or more than one, is going to be handy. Right, just got to make sure that no one is too easily killable. You can go there. You can come over here. You... You're, <laughs> you're intelligent, that's a shame. Really thoroughly useless character trait. So you can go over here. And maybe this guy will come out to attack you. No, we'll go for the thug. Wow, there's quite a lot of undead coming from that way. Good work. Now you come around and do some damage to these drones. Is there anything that can do arcane damage up here? No, there is not. Which means... That a spectre will be a useful addition. Albeit completely unable to hit anything. Alright, what about down here? Down here... Durvin just needs three hits and he gets three of three. And now... Whoa! Rubbish performance there from Anya. Decent performance there from Mid Nolan. Well, I could do a funny what's down here. Hopefully, one of those control crystals. Gotta stop up this gap, probably with a linear next turn. First, though, let's have some troops. Not too much, but enough tough units that I can start chewing through these enemies. For a spirit. Okay, there is a gap through there that I can see. And now I'm on negative income. Night Gaunt? Yeah, why not? Fugitive? Yeah, why not? Just go for most of my tough units at this point. And one person for. Line of sight, a little weak bat. You... Wow, slowed, stunned, and pwned. Pwned ought to be a status in Wesnoth. I would love to see that popping up. Okay, the purple units are not keen to take this fight, and I can understand why. But there's quite a lot of them, though. Black units are looking pretty weak in comparison. Everyone here is back up to full health. Hmm. 
not a great showing. Okay, I'm not going to recall or recruit anything else. There's a little gate here. This guy ought to go down here and see. Is there anything else there? Yeah, there's stuff. You can't see very far. Poor little bugger. Alright, you go. Oh, no, nothing there. Maybe it'll open up later. Oh, I think I'm going to try and push down this way. That's a kill. Well, that's also a kill. Now we've got demons here, gotta be careful with them. Durban's on fire today. Now, quite literally, because he just got attacked by a demon, but uh, yeah. Hmm, okay. I think I can risk one spectre down here against fire damage. An Alinea. down here then. Oh, some rubbish. Nothing else visible. Interesting. You perch next to this lady. And I don't know what's behind this door either. Again, we'll find out next turn maybe. Okay, gradually chipping away at my spectre there. Okay, you're better defended now. You are invisible. So you can explore this mysterious passage with no one and nothing in it. Is there actually anything here that's of value? Who knows? There must be a crystal down there. Can't be anywhere else. Who needs the experience here? No one actually needs any experience. Anya, yeah, you're the one who can do it the most. Showing from a linear. You hop back, you hop forward. And eventually you do kill something. Ugh. 
Nice kill from you. Perfection. Oh, what about this doorway? Am I going to go for it with Durvan, or is he just going to advance? Ah, uh, yeah, go on. Ah, uh, boring. Okay, you just sit there for now. And you come down here. Okay, that's a dead end, so you can go a different way. A door! Further door! And... Alright. This ought to link back up to where these purple folks are coming from. See anything else? Nope. Aha! Crystal! That looks likely to be what we're aiming for. Oh, my Spectre can get there next turn. We'll turn off to next anyway. Everyone, scooch up. Actually, you go you go north just in case there's a problem up here. Now that you've done your bit. From, you're gonna go back there very shortly. Good. Now Anya can come up here because she's a bit healthier. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good idea because there was a Zephyr here. Do I just want to open this door with this shadow, or should I wait? Not confident. Okay, well, what if there's anything that can reach me that's not close by? Feeble. Well, you kill this drone then. We'll try to. Don't 
don't quite manage it. Okay, you come back. You go in here. Good kill. And you might well be my first and my first. Well, I did get a bandit, and then it died. But you might be my first actually leveled undead of the campaign. Uh, why do I say undead? You're not undead. No. Okay, it's getting quite dispersed here, so. Oh, interesting, you didn't come and attack. What well, you go here? Okay. The first gate is down. And we've got two thirds of the turns left. There's a Zephyr here. There's a Demoness Warrior here. That's pretty nasty. I should try and get rid of her. Okay, another Zephyr. And a normal demon. Okay, the Zephyr is fast. It's sneaky, it can get round, so, but it can't get that far round. Well, it must be remembered has um, Anya must be remembered has teleport, which is a helpful ability. The weak squad is heading up this way, and over here. Starting to actually make some progress now. That's good. You can see if you can kill this automaton. And you can. Good. Um. You get an after maximum level. Cool. And you can come down here and attack this guy. Can I see anyone back here? Doesn't look like it. So where are the what's the other flipping Right. There are blood imps guarding the passageway. So where's the third one? There must be another one behind here, I think. Hopefully this this squad will be enough. in the water. Where did you come from? Well, it doesn't matter because you're almost dead. Work. 
Okay, there's another Zephyr there, there's also the boss. Only one of them can attack me though. And here's another passageway, which does suggest that there is more down here. Okay, over here. Try and get this kill for you. Good, good. Not so impressive from you. So you don't want to do that. You go on. You go there. There we go. Over here. You can kill this door. Congratulations, young Cardass, that's your first kill. You're well on your way towards a level. Another blood imp. I can't see me though, but there must be another gem back up here. That's the only place it can be on this flank. And the bat comes up to scout. Oh, I've made a little mistake because the bat can get attacked now by. Ah, uh, that's more like it. Interesting. You're doing just grand. Alinea, just hop across there and... Great. Now you... there's nothing more back here and you can just hop out what will happen if you get attacked by the boss not hugely much I mean the boss is very unlikely to hit you with a whole lot of this stuff and I could even get a level out of it attempting to do it this turn Then over here, we have a situation. Who's most likely to do damage? You can hardly hit, so probably you. Very nice. Durban and his mighty squad can continue heading in this direction. I could even use Cardas to lure out one of these guys. I think that's actually quite tempting. He won't die, or at least he shouldn't. And he's got a bat to back him up. is not coming out of the boss's hidey hole. Just trying to slow this boss is a dangerous business. Even with Alinea fighting this person is a dangerous business. Oh. 
There we go. We got the slow, we got the stun. Is there anything else back here? No, that's another fake passageway. You're very strong against chill. More doors in the back. That wasn't effective, but you're now higher level, so that's good, I guess. You're weakened. Oh, you didn't come out. Interesting. Don't want to fight tough old card ass, eh? Well, maybe you want to fight this Spectre! Surprise! Maybe you want to fight card ass, or maybe you want to fight the bat. Either way is good. Actually, you can use Sylvan Spark and go here, and you'll be better off. Everyone done? Yep, good. Good kill for Anya. Grab this village with you. Who needs experience here? Only Alinea and Anya. May Uriah punish you all for this. Ugh. Okay, there are doors in the back. Alinea, you go and get health. Or... You, know, you get health. You get health that's further away. You go and smash down that door. Aha! There we go. And you can explore down here. Doesn't seem very exciting, but then again you're on foot. Could be blocked. Yep, it's blocked. Oh uh, well, how pointless. Okay, you guys can all come back to the middle. Over here, I guess there's another boss to fight. And we'll probably spot your face in a minute. There we go. You're a gut wrencher imp. That's a wrap. Okay. If you go there, you could get attacked by the Blood Imp, so that's not a good idea. You just join up with the main branch of the groups, and... Okay, the second gate is open. Oh, you can you can just teleport around. Yeah, sweet.
Is there a house up here? Not yet, but there could be soon. I can't quite backstab this guy as much as I'd like to. Maybe I won't need to. You go and grab this village. No hits for you. You come out here. You get the f village. You come over here. Uh. You just go and perch on a village for now, and next turn you can pop out. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Alright, you really want the bat dead? No more bat for me. Heh heh heh. Next turn. For now, that's one dead drone. And our gut wrencher is on bad terrain. Not bad. Okay, you didn't get poison, but you didn't get the kill either. Let's see if um, Rura Doctor Thug can uh, take it. Oh, or should I use Cardass, the loyal fighter? No, it hurts. The beast's body is dissolving into slime. Oh, okay, it's one of these. Fun for the whole family. These guys are pretty good at taking out mud crawls, if I recall correctly. Yeah. You will be terrible, because, um, yeah, impact does almost no damage against them. But arcane and fire are both very effective. Okay, maybe you can get the kill after all. Good stuff, and you're almost at a level. Alright, back to the trudging party. Trudge, 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 trudge. You both pretty slow. Okay, someone speedy can go and grab this. Someone like Tanya. Alright, now we know where we're going. I've still got to move all my troops there. Oh, and our income is positive now. That's that's cool.
Gotta make sure everyone who needs healing gets it. You can already pop out in the direction that we're going. Your linear is looking a bit beaten up. That's counterintuitive. Walking along the uh, ledge here is faster than anything else. Doop doo doop doo doo. A few boring turns ahead of us. Silly for you to be all that way back there. No one else has moved. Everyone's out of there. You stay where you are, you stay where you are. Um, you guys can go and explore a little bit. Okay, we got ray blades. And we got 35 turns. Bring it! Always lurking in the background. Okay, this looks good. You two are the perfect buddies, you can team up in the back here. They are getting closer to the control chamber! Get them! Quickly! I don't like the sound of that. 
All right, we can go across either bridge. Should have aggroed this guy. Going to come straight out with another forest spirit. Maybe you want to tank some damage. You're incredibly tough after all. Okay, there's another Zephyr over there. And a full healing glyph. Interesting. Oh, you're, you're fully healed, and so is, so is Alinea. Perfect. Fantastic, another after maximum level. You can come out and attack this Psy Crawler, I think, given that they're not very effective against you because you've got resistance to cold. What are units around? None of them fast enough to reach me other than this worm. Pushed by a worm in the wall. Well, it's not dead. Interesting. Well, it is now. Millennia, run, run like the wind. Everyone, go, go, go! Durban is somewhat restricted by Team Slowpoke here at the back, but uh, it's the five movement club. Glad you got your extra one movement from being a shide. Let's see what we can kill over here though. Oh, glad you missed. Oh, we've got another leader up here. Oh, you're no good. Oh. And you're a tough one. To run ahead too far. I want to scout up here though. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. Lots of fast units over here.
And he has no, almost just another level. You come around. You two are pretty speedy, so you'll be able to get some damage in. Okay, strength one. Lots of level one random skirmishes. Okay, let's see how much stuff we can kill. Zone of control, so you should hop down here. And then you go down here. You maybe go back, and we'll hold this position for now. You are exploring northwards. Okay, it's a locked gate. Come back to the fights. Alright, my prediction for this turn is that Anya is going to get mobbed, that, she, that she'll be able to wipe them up. Well, okay. <laughs> Round troops don't seem to want to attack anything. They're just too scared. Okay, I've got a lot of powerful units here, I can understand it. Looks like I'm going to have to defeat whatever leader's back here. Okay, that hurt a bit more than I was expecting. Like people who move across chasms, you can just fly around. You may, you may be skirmishers, but you can't fly, so you can't get away from there. Gotta watch out for demons with my uh, with my undead. Rubbish. Hopeless. You can reach. That's good. Uh, what about you? You do you don't do a lot of damage to me, aren't you? Yeah. Eight three with your energy ray. So okay, I won't. Um, I want to aggro both of you. If I go and attack this one on the house, I will aggro everything and its grandmother. 
you can already reach this. Yeah, it seems unwise. I'm just going to put you here so that there's not so much that you can break my line. Fire damage on the old Spectre. got I think a captain's gonna be useless because level one units are not exactly um, what I'm doing here so a hero finish off these ones on the bridge or try to no kills Perfect kill from our shied friend. No kill from you. Okay, gonna have to aggro these ray blades at some point. It seems like now is a good time. going on over here? Okay, there is also a sentry drone. Gah! Okay, they can't all reach me. Not good. Boss man. Okay. Um, a little bit worried about a few units here. Even you can come out and fight. Oh no! Mid Knoll and the Elvish Prowler, no! <laughs> Interesting tactical choice. Okay, that is, I think, my first significant loss of this scenario. Yeah, two thugs and a vampire bat. I'm not too, too, too uh, you know, too upset about either of those. Because 
good thing that I've got the night gaunt here. get a huge amount of purchase on these guys. If you don't get killed, which you shouldn't, as long as you take... well, <laughs> no, you have to get lucky. Okay, that's one ray blade down. Could try and slow you, but it doesn't seem smart. Could go straight in with Linear. Probably that's the best plan. Generally is. And then you go there. Whirlpool over there. Well, I still can't see. It's the crystal. It must be back here somewhere. Close to death there. A nice kill for Anya. Oh, that wasn't smart. I still need one more damage. it for you. You get the village. There's still more stuff back here. Can I go down here? Looks like in principle I, can, I could do. And down here. Oh, I can pick something up there. Um, no, it's just the normal movement icon. The icon does change when I move over that. The whirlpool is <laughs> the whirlpool is overflowing with an unusual energy, a dark energy. All right, but that doesn't help me in any way.
Even though I have fallen, you are no match for my master's power. We'll see about that very soon. Ugh. You could do with some health. You can come out here. Everyone on one screen, just how I like it. No more worm. You can't quite reach this guy. There is the key. And there are more drones back here. Now the really slow folks all around here ought to start heading back. Sorry, sneeze. Mm. Okay. Now hopefully this is the final gateway. And with my units moving health for leather towards it. Religion. Ooh, there's something else. That's oh, a worm. Another bloody worm. They're everywhere. Boar. Okay, yeah, they hide in walls.
very boring. Sullivan's wisdom was like a drill. Boring. Over the chasm, we go. Shame you folks don't regenerate. You could use it now. You can go and grab this. You can just pop out, and you'll be fully healed next turn. Enemy units ahead. Get to a decent defensive position. success rate there, more like 50% rather than the 70%. What in blazes is that creature? Don't meet its gaze. It will drain your life force. Yeah, you only really see these guys at the very end of campaigns and this one is nasty. Mind probe draining attack in range. And it's a feeding creature, which means every time it kills a unit, it gets one point to its hit point maximum. Hop back there, get some help. Need to get someone to dra to dra lure you out. Go in with the spectre. It's got a swarm attack though, it doesn't seem wise. How good are these guys against Arcane? Not very. You take a lot of damage and it would drain. There's someone who can't be killed by that. 10 times 4 is 40 damage. You've got 54 health. Oh, well, just Ilinia. be nice to put a healer behind you. Now that would involve putting someone else in range of this guy's attacks. Or you could attack Durvan, that wouldn't be too bad. Or Anya, in fact. 
And then I can put you... Oh, you can't quite reach. Oh, no. Well, I can pop you back. There we go. Still get a bit of health for those who need it. Okay, everyone's crowded up in this corridor waiting for Mr. Friendly to come and attack me. Here he comes. And it's instantly been slowed. That could have been a lot worse. And now, your swarm attack is a lot less potent. Bonk. Ruridoc the Bandit gets the experience. Hmm, doesn't look like... what's what's going on up here? Is that a dead end? Yes it is! Oh, no, not, not quite. Okay, there is more. There is more. door here. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere. <laughs> Proceed further underground with Alinea. So Alinea needs to get to this next spot. I think if Anya does it, it won't quite be enough. Oh yes. Make haste! Okay. We're on episode 2, scenario 11, a final confrontation. And you know what that means, I'm afraid, folks. That's the end of the video. See you next time.